Okay. Okay, welcome back. Got lots of things here on our agenda. Welcome to Lang's and the Lang's Invitational pregame show here at the beautiful Nelson Center overlooking the lanes. Uh, thank you, Carl and the Lang's for allowing us to use this facility. Uh, your sponsors for tonight. First, the Storm Night Road with the REX cover stock wrapped around the high road core. Thank you, Storm, for sponsoring our show. Uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy the Cricket's Pest Control. Thank you for, the, for your sponsorship. And lastly, Bob's Discount Prosthetics. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Thank you for bringing our show and making sure our budget is what it needs to be. Thank you. Uh, some show suggestion names, okay? Somebody sent in, you want to call it the Nut House with the big nut in the middle. Oh, that's me. Um, so if you have some suggestions for the name of the show, we'll take those. Uh, I'm not sure if the Nut House will work, uh, but if you have a better one, we'd love to hear it. Okay, let's see. Uh, first, our recaps of week three. Uh, in our feature match last week, the Pink Fluffy Unicorns, or the Pink Fluffies, they like to call them, smacked the cheek clappers around a little bit last week. 32-20, 29-12, the total pins. The, the Pink Fluffies destroyed the cheek clappers. They did give them one charity. Um, thank you for showing up game. So the match was 3-1. to one. Uh, That moves the Pink Fluffies to 9-3, and three, I believe, on the, on the year. And the cheek clappers go down in the feature match. Uh, Chris Gerard, 770 on his match. Uh, Chris Gerard now actually 252 after nine games. Uh, good for him. And he and the Pink Fluffies are off again. They are actually in our feature match again this week. Uh, we Them Boys, okay? Uh, that's the team from Langs. I think they're cheating in some way. I'm not sure what that investigation potentially. Uh, we Them Boys smoked fill in the frames this week. Uh, in week three, three to one. They are now 11 and one on the year and they are in first place. They did lose their first game of the year uh, to Marty and company in game three as well. Maybe that was also a, a charity gift or whatever. Uh, but the We Them Boys smoked Marty Jones's team pretty hard. Uh, led by Quidaris Rembert who shot 751. He's averaging a gazillion as well. Not, not a surprise there. Q obviously having a good start to the year. There are three teams tied at 10 and two currently. Those are your second place teams tied for second place. First, enjoying the ride, that's Jimmy Savasta there at the anchor spot, averaging 243 after nine games. Obviously a very good bowler, one of the best around, so no surprise in that case. We Got You Babe, another great name. Good for you guys, that's a great one. Chris Solomon is leading that team. He's now at 234 after nine games, so Chris bowling pretty well, off to a great start. And also at 10 and two. Opportunity brand, that's Tim Healy and Ted Francois and company. Tim's after, actually off to a decent start, 233 for him. I would say great, but uh, as a Hall of Famer, that's just uh, a little above average for Tim. So good bowling for Tim, and they're off to a 10 and two start. He's also bowling with Dave Forsey of the legend. So that's a pretty strong team. I'm sure they'll be making noise for most of the year. Uh, so those are your three teams at 10 and two in second place. Okay, our stars of the week this week, recapping week three. Our stars of the week led off by none other than Billy Tessier, William Tessier, however you want to call him. 820, 300 this week, the big man, uh, averaging 247 currently. No slouch there, good bowling by him. Um, probably going to have a big year. Uh, last year, missed out on the high average. Uh, looks like he's on a mission this year, so 247 after nine, not bad. 820, 300 this week, so watch out for that guy. Uh, also having a big week, Brian Ayala, 7.95. Brian's obviously a very good bowler. Big week for him, 7.95, uh, helping him to off to a good start. Chris Gerard, 7.70 this week. Chris Gerard has been 7.50 pretty much every week. He is averaging 2.52 currently. Uh, obviously, that is leading the league among guys with nine games. Uh, I think one guy might be a little higher, but doesn't have nine games in. So, uh, we're gonna call Chris Gerard your leader in average through nine games. Um, our next segment, kind of a new one. Uh, I asked a few people for some nickname suggestions for guys in the league. Uh, this is something that some leagues do. Um, I kind of think it's funny. So I asked a few guys and the suggestions I got were pretty poor. You need to come up with some new good stuff. Um, this is what I got so far. Pet Puckett, somebody called him the Silver Snake Strike Maker. I'm not sure about that except for the silver part. Uh, although Pep does kill us every time he bowls us. Uh, he is kind of a shady little character. So, Silver Snake Strike Maker, Pep Puckett. 
Uh, Greg G Money. Greg G Money. Jen. Greg Jen. G Money. Pretty good one. I like that one. Uh, and also Paul the Wanker Stepney. Obviously, his team is the Wankers. Um, I believe he was the one that started that whole Wanker business. So Paul the Wanker, the Wanker Stepney. Uh, those are your nicknames. Uh, currently, for suggestions, uh, we are taking all that you got, and uh, the crazier the better. Um, and this is YouTube, so we can say shit and fuck, so that's okay. So if you got some good ones, please submit them, and we would love to use them. Okay, uh, our feature match for tonight. This is a big one. Uh, once again, the pink fluffy unicorns at nine and three. They're led by Chris Gerard in his league leading 252 average. They are taking on, on 15 and 16, they're taking on Enjoying the Ride. That's Jimmy Sebasta and his dad, uh, Charlie Sebasta, who is back to bowling after a little bit of an absence. They're off to a great start. They're 10 and two. Jimmy Sebasta is averaging 240 something. Uh, so it'll be a Gerard board versus Sebasta match. Uh, if you're close to that, that lane, you'll get a chance to see a show. So the Pink Fluffy Unicorns in the feature match again, nine and three versus Enjoying the Ride, uh, led by Jimmy Sebastian. We'll see if Enjoying the Ride can send the Pink Fluffy Unicorns for a ride after their big beat down last week that they put on the Cheek Clappers. Uh, tune into our show every week. Uh, we'll be here on Wednesdays or Tuesdays. I'm not sure which day it'll be. Uh, we're gonna start uh, live streaming it at some point if we can, if YouTube will let us. Uh, I wanna remind you that our sponsors of the day or the week, the Night Road, brought to you by Storm. I believe that releases on the 23rd. Come see us at the, at the Pro Shop and I will get you in a new Night Road. Uh, also, our other sponsors for this evening, uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy the Cricket Pest Control and Bob's Discount Prosthetics. If you're interested in a prosthetic, you need something for an arm or a leg, maybe you're a little rev challenge, you need a prosthetic arm, Bob's Discount Prosthetics will hook you up. And if uh, you have some bug problems, Call Jimmy the Cricket and he'll take care of that. Um, you also could call uh, the Spider. The Spider is back in town. I don't know where the Spider is. He might be out there. Um, but those of you who don't know, Dave Fuller, I call him the Spider. The Spider is back in town, so maybe if you have a bug problem, you can get Dave the Spider Fuller on your on your case there. Uh, any questions, suggestions, hate mail, anything else you want to send to us? Uh, you know where I am here on Wednesday. Come see us. Um, submissions via. Facebook, um, I don't do Twitter, so yeah, actually we do Twitter. So Facebook, Twitter, um, in person here, bring it down, write it on a napkin, give us what you got, and we'll take it. Uh, we are looking for some people to come and host the show with uh, in future weeks. I think Carl DeRosa is going to come on the show. Maybe next week we'll try to get Carl on. Uh, but if you have suggestions or hate mail or uh, if you just want to make fun of me, uh, feel free. Uh, we'll post this on the Wednesday Invitational League site as well as the All Rip and the Rack sites. Until next week, good bowling.